Hi everyone, I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. In this video, I want to show you the best free alternative for Microsoft Office and I want to show you how to install it and configure it. There are many free alternatives to Microsoft Office out there. You have Open Office, you have WPS Office, you have LibreOffice and many others. And the best one that I know of is LibreOffice. So it is the most widely installed free office alternative and it is the most also developed one and it has like updates regularly and it works on many platforms like linux windows and macintosh so i'm gonna show you in this video how to download it how to install it and how to configure it so that it will save documents by default for the microsoft office format so that you can exchange document easily with the ones or with the users that you work with that they have microsoft office and I'm going to show you also how to configure the menu to look a little bit like Microsoft Office. So let me start first by downloading LibreOffice. And I'm using for the demonstration in this video a Windows 11 PC. But the instructions I'm going to show you also apply to Windows 10. So let's start first by downloading LibreOffice. On your Windows 11 machine or on your Windows machine, open your web browser. And here go to LibreOffice.org. Let me maximize it. And in LibreOffice.org, click on download and choose download LibreOffice. And here you have the latest version, which is at the time of this video 7.2.2. And here you have your operating system. So if your operating system is not chosen by default, Click on the drop down arrow and here choose the operating system you want. And as I told you, it has like versions for Linux, for Mac OS, and Windows 32 and Windows 64. So here I'm going to keep it on Windows 64 bit. I'm using Windows 11, as I said. And then I'm going to click on download. And the download should begin shortly. And here's the download started. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when this download is finished. So now the download finished. Let's go to our downloads folder. I'm going to close the browser. We don't need it anymore. So go to the folder where you downloaded the file. Here in my case, it is under downloads. And simply double click on the installation program here. And here you click on next on the first screen. And here I'm going to choose custom so that you can see the options that you have. So choose custom and then click next. And notice here you have optional components and user interface languages. So let me expand optional components. And you have under dictionaries here, many languages if you want to add languages for the dictionary. Here I'm going to keep it on English because I have Windows 11 in English. So it installed English by default. Of course, choose the language you want here. So here I'm going to expand the second menu, which is user interface languages. And here you have many languages. So you are able also to install LibreOffice to have like the interface language in the language you want. I'm going to keep it on English for me by default. So here, of course, feel free to choose the language you want. And here also you have the option to change the installation folder and drive for LibreOffice. So if you click on change, you can choose the drive you want and the folder you want. For me, I'm going to leave it by default under C program files LibreOffice. So when you make your selections, click on next. And then here in this screen, you have the association of the documents that you have and you see that Microsoft Word documents is not selected by default. So make sure to select it. So this way you associate all the documents of Microsoft Office with LibreOffice applications. So click on next here. And here I want to create a shortcut on my desktop, but I don't want to load LibreOffice automatically. So I'm going to keep these selections by default and then I'm going to click on install. And the installation should take a couple of minutes, no more. And here, if you are prompted, click on yes. So this is Windows user account control asking you if you are sure you want to install. So of course, I clicked on yes. And this is the installation underway. So this is the installation of LibreOffice finished. Let me click on finish. And you notice here that it created a desktop icon for you. So you can start it from here. So let me pin it to my taskbar. So I'm going to right click on it. And then I'm going to choose show more options and then i'm gonna click on pin to taskbar and then i'm gonna delete it from here 
I like my desktop to always be clean. And here it is pinned to the desk bar. So click on it to open it. And this is LibreOffice open. And you notice here on the left, you have all your applications. So you have the writer document, which is the equivalent of Microsoft Word. You have your calc spreadsheet, which is the equivalent of Microsoft Excel. You have the impress presentation. This is equivalent of PowerPoint. Draw and math formula, they don't have equivalents in Microsoft Office. And you have your base database, which is the equivalent of Microsoft Access. So let me start the writer document. So let me make it a little bit here bigger, like this. And here you notice that you have the standard menus, like these are the traditional menus that were in Microsoft Office and the older versions. If you like the menus to be like Microsoft Office, and I'm gonna show you how to change this. So click on View, and then click on User Interface. And under User Interface here, click on Tabbed, and it is important here to click apply to all so this way this setting that you are doing it will apply to all the applications in libreoffice meaning calc and impress and all the other applications so click on apply to all and then click on close here and you notice here that you have the menu now it is in the shape of tabbed menu which resembles more microsoft office and the second setting i'm gonna show you is how you save the document by default under the Microsoft Office format. Click on Tools, click on Options, and then here under Load Save, click on General. And then here for the document type, let's start by Writer because these settings here will apply to all the applications within LibreOffice also. So under Document Type, you have the first one, which is Text Document, which is the equivalent of Microsoft Word. So select it, and then under Always Save As here, choose the drop-down list here, and then click on Microsoft Word, which is Word 2007 365, and then click Apply. And let's do this also for the other applications. So under Document Type, you have your Spreadsheet. So also select Always Save As. And let's choose Excel 2007 365, click on Apply. And also for Impress here, which is the presentation, also choose it and then choose Microsoft PowerPoint, which is PowerPoint 2007 365, Apply, and then click on OK. And now notice when I click on Save As, it will put by default the Microsoft Word document. So let me save this. And let's click on save. And let's see it now in the documents folder. So it is under documents. And here it is. If I double click it, of course, it will open the LibreOffice Writer, which is the equivalent of Word. So let me show you quickly the other applications. So here you have the Calc spreadsheet. And here, of course, also you have your tabbed menu because we changed it for everything. And if you click on save, it will select Excel because also we changed it. So I don't wanna save it. And let me also show you the equivalent of PowerPoint, which is impress presentation. Let me choose any template here. So I'll click open. And you notice here that you have templates also and it resembles very much to PowerPoint and it even has the same shortcuts. So if I press on F5 here, it will go into presentation mode, just like as PowerPoint. So let me close it. And that was it for the installation and the initial configuration of LibreOffice, which is the best free alternative to Microsoft Office that you can find these days. I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and it will help the channel big time. I want to thank you all for watching, and see you in the next video.